right, so tell me what you're doing today. So I'm um, going to repaint the stripes. We can get the decals because it's a 98 and we're in 2018. So what well, I'm we could. Doing, well, we yeah. could for yeah. the small yeah. price of $2,300, which is not happening. <laughs> so I'm going to paint them. I got the rust -oleum, um outside paint and I'm just taping it and I'm just going to do one section at a time and hopefully it works. Yeah, you, yeah, you took some decent time prepping the surface and stuff too to make sure that yeah you have to, i cleaned it out really good with windex make sure there's nothing nice on it tone, yeah. and um we'll see how it comes out yeah i think it's gonna look great it's gonna bring back some life to some of these older stripes that are just faded a little yeah, bit yeah they're just ugly looking mm -hmm. so we'll see stay tuned so we're done um it took me two hours to tape and 30 seconds to spray but it's done. It's all one color now, navy blue, which is what we want to do the big stripes in just one color. And then the little stripes are going to stay whatever because they're in pretty good condition all over. And that um, has the purple and gray and blah, blah, blah. So let's take it out. Let's see how it looks. Take them out real quick before it dries, and it should be good to go. Damn, babe, that's looking great. Yeah. We'll clean up those few little spots, and we'll be good to go. Yeah. So, how you like your finished product? I love it. I'm almost there. I'm just with paint thinner. I'm just finishing just the little corners because I may not like that. Mm -hmm. And um, it's gonna look brand new. It worked. Yeah, it worked. Bud. <laughs> so what do we do? what do we just do? A little side project here. We just had a few extra pieces. So we went to IKEA and got the PVC outdoor tiles that they have that look like teak. And I made a template of the tub because the bottom was a little bit ugly looking. It was stained. And to resurface this was like $500. The box of tile was $20, $24.99. Something like that, yeah. So I made a template and I have Patrick cut it. And I have a teak floor shower. All right, so one of the things we're doing is um, we have these metal frames that the door, that the um, cushions came on. So as you can see, this material is old, outdated. Not, wasn't really used that much, so it doesn't have any smell in it. So luckily we're good there. The, um, so what I'm gonna do is instead of reupholstering it and paying $658, is was the cheapest estimate we got, we're going to actually get a little creative and we're going to reupholster it ourselves. So, what it did was, is I'm going to take this metal frame. These metal frames right here that bolt into the um, jackknife bed or bed frame. So, what I'm doing is, is I'm actually going to take this and I'm cutting plywood to fit and then sectioning it off for each cushion and then I'm stapling the cushion new material to that plywood through the cushion then drilling holes in the frame screwing it right into the bottom of the plywood now hopefully it should work great and it'll look good awesome and if it does then um, we spent about 
what, $200 on the material. And then we spent about $200 on the material and after that, we saved us 450 something dollars. So hopefully this is gonna work. Madeline's over there still doing the paint. It's coming out looking great. So today's gonna be a really awesome productive day. We also did the uh, seat cushions for the kitchen table. So we'll show you all that when we get done. All right, talk to you guys later. So here we are. Um, see, I was taking a break and I went ahead and made some delicious lunch because it's getting, we were getting hangry. Um, so I made some delicious meatball subs. And Patrick is right now doing a little project. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? Right now I'm cutting the material. I already cut the, um, took the old cushions out of the old outdated um, couch there was. So like I said earlier, I'm gonna take these, cut this plywood, put to the bottom. As you can see, <laughs> the battening and everything on this is like in phenomenal shape. No stains, no nothing. Um, again, it's just the RV was never used. So it makes, it's gonna make it a lot easier. I can just reuse the same material. It's still got plenty of spring left in it. It's not stained, doesn't, doesn't smell. That's the big thing. And um, yeah, so I'm just cutting the material now. Here, making my templates, cutting out one more sheet. And then um, we got some really nice material. So we got this for like a little over $200. Enough to do the kitchen table, the benches, the, um, and the couch. So yeah, we just saved ourselves about a little over $400, $500 total mm -hmm. after everything. So, awesome. Yeah, and then I'm gonna sit down and have this gonna awesome meatball sandwich that she made. So, because that's one thing she does do is make sure I never go hungry. <laughs> okay, see you later. Bye. All right, so that hard work paid off. This is the bottom of the sofa. Now we just got to do the other ones. Put those on. Those are the ones for the thing, uh, the dining room table, benches. Here's our front panel. And then, uh, yeah, we just got to do all that and then put it on that frame right over there. There'll be some of this material here, so it'll look a little different. Yeah, I think it looks really good. What do you think? I love it. You love it? Yeah. <laughs> so, let me step back. Worth the 400 and something dollars we saved. <laughs> and fortunately for us, these jackknife sofas come, as you can see, we just drilled holes into the frame, put them right in there. These things already come with the bolts that you need to bolt it right into the frame. So you can, it'll still do its uh, it fold out features. I know you married me because you love me, because of my eyes. You're so nice to everybody, but I know why you really married me. Yeah, it was mostly, that's exactly what It was mostly from the big talk. Thank you.